Coaches, how you doing? Hope you guys are doing awesome. Shoot a quick video here just to let you know some things that are coming up this week. Man, we are seeing God move already as we start into this life group season time. And you guys have played such a major part. First thing I want to say is just thank you for each one of you guys for the way you stepped up this past weekend as we started uh, doing our on-ramping in the lobby. Um, and it's been so awesome to see. We had 10 people that just came from we had a lot more than that. They added a group. They already had a group that said, hey, we want to add this as another group that they're doing. But we had 10 new people come up and just say, I want to lead a life group. And from that point, we led them all the way through the process right there in the lobby. It's really got us thinking on how we can do it um, year round. Um, not quite this way, but what can we learn from it? Um, anyway, super excited about that. And you guys played such a vital role. So thank you so much for stepping into that. Um, and we'll talk more about that in a minute. But thank you guys for being such an awesome team. I'm so thankful to be a part of this with each one of you. Now, first thing I want to talk about is, here's the big thing. Kelly, we love you. Um, I know that, uh, for those of you who don't know, Kelly's mother-in-law passed away um, this week. And so just keeping you in our prayers, know that we're here for you, um, you and your husband as well. Just, I know it's tough. And so we uh, we want you to know that we're here. We love you. And anything we can do, we, we'd love to, to support you in every way we can. Um, so in, your, in, in our prayers, other coaches, you guys give uh, – Give those, uh, give her a shout out. Tell her how much you love her. You're praying for her uh, as they go through this tough time. So, um, here's 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 we go into the business side of it. Here's what we got. You're fixing to receive three videos. This one, which you're watching, so go over that. That's for you. And then you're gonna receive one that's gonna go to your community leaders, and then one that they need to in turn pass to the life group leaders. So, video, video, video. You watch this one. You can watch the other ones to know what you're passing out. But it will be one for your community leaders, and then one for them to pass to their life group leaders. So it's a big, heavy video day. Hope you're ready for it. I'll try to keep this as short as possible. Here's a couple things we've got coming up. Um, hope in the dark groups, like we said, I said, well, go it's off to a great start. Uh, it's awesome to see just what God's already doing. To people just when you get in this season, it, it's not so much of a grind as it is just when you see God stirring. Uh, it, it almost seems it seems easier, and so with the momentum there. Uh, it's so awesome to see we're just walking in it. So the way we did the onboarding this past weekend, we're going to continue that this weekend. I need you here. But more more importantly, I, I'm not, not so much worried about that is we need more of our team here. So I'm going to ask you, press on a little bit. Uh, if, if members of our team that need to be here, I'm going to talk with them about it in the video. We're going to reach out personally to each person. But we need them here as well. We had a few show up this past weekend, which was great. We need even more to show up. So. This, we need everybody there for that this next weekend. And that, what we saw, if you were a part of it, you got to see it's really, really cool how we're just getting things done that quick and we're getting people plugged into the game. It's pretty awesome. Now, big thing I want to talk about. As we learned in our coaches' meeting, thank you guys so much for your feedback. Those of you who were here for the coaches' meeting, we were able to look at what we want these monthly meetings to look at. Look at. That starts this weekend. It starts this weekend, so we're excited to see what that's going to look like. I think it's going to be a game changer for us. And as we broke down and thought about what do we want each of those meetings to look like, like what are we trying to cover in this time, here's what we want every month, the categories, and we're putting it in four categories of what we think need to be covered every month. Now, this is not, you have an hour, so 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Some months it's going to be leaning heavier on one compared to the other, but overall we think that if we can hit these four things at some facet in every month's meeting, we're going to be doing doing pretty good. So number one would be relationship building. Just building those relationships with your community leaders. Let them know that uh, you're a real person and that they can can relate to you. Building that camaraderie, building that community, that's huge. So that would be the first thing. The second would be training slash your, your calendar, what's coming up. So training on any issues that we have, we're seeing, um, anything that they need to be brought up to speed on, and we're seeing a little bit of lag in this. But then also, hey, here's what we have coming up, and we need you to be a part of it. That's the second. The third one is just development. We, we feel like our team, we have the freedom and the ability to develop better than any other team on this campus. It's not a competition, but it kind of is. But we have the ability to uh, develop because it's the freedom that we have, and so we want to lean heavy into that. So what can we do to develop our community leaders uh, through these meetings? And the fourth one is just feedback. This is going to allow them to have a voice in what's going on so they know that they're a part of a team. Um, they can voice their uh, what, what's going on that they're struggling with, but also what it is that they found that... Uh, that is working really well for them. So relationship building, training, development, and feedback. Those are the four things we want to hit. Now here's what we, we, we talked about having kind of a template for the first few months, what that looks like. After that, I want to release you to kind of be able to look at this and go, this is what I think for my span of care needs. But here's what I want everybody doing in August just so we get all on the same foot. So August, 
this weekend, Rockford is meeting with his team at, at 12.30. Kelly is going to actually push her back to the next weekend because she won't be here this weekend. She'll be um, in Guyman uh, with family as they uh, lay her mother-in-law to rest. And so I, what I need from you before we go into this is your time when you're going to meet each month. Let me know what time you're going to meet. If that's Sunday at 10, if that's Sunday at, if it's Saturday, whatever it is that you're going to ask your Hispanic care to be there, we need to know so we can make arrangements for that. So I know Rockford is meeting at 1230 with his Hispanic care. Um, Michelle, Rob, Christy, Moose, let me know what time you're looking at for meeting with your Hispanic care. Now, here's what August is going to look like. First question, icebreaker question, which is just relationship building, get the ball rolling, is share what was your favorite thing you did this summer. This past summer, what did you do that's going to stick with you? What's your favorite memory? And that's just going to be a simple question. Like I said, this is not a heavy, heavy uh, emphasis on sometimes we look at this and we'll say, hey, we want you to ask, you know, what's God doing in your life? How can we be praying for you? Something very deep. But on this one, we just want to get the ball rolling with something like, what's your favorite summer memory? When you look back at the summer of 2018, what's that going to be? So that gets your relationship building. Second thing that we want to really focus on, we, we talked about this in our coaches meeting, is onboarding this weekend. We felt like that there's there's been a little bit of a disconnect, maybe a stigma to onboarding that some people just don't feel right com quite comfortable with it. We want to remove that stigma. So I want to just have a real honest conversation of what do you guys feel comfortable with and what is it that you're struggling with as you look at onboarding so we can remove that stigma. Now, things coming up on the calendar, open the dark groups. That's getting them here for the lobby. That's getting them ready to come onboard. New folks, letting them know those are coming on. We have a new series coming up in, in September called Mastermind that we just found out we're going to be able to do life group things attached with it as well. And so uh, letting them know that's another thing that we'll be focused on that. The big dates that you need to know. Sisters is October 8th. Every woman needs to be here. She can, well, we want her a part of the process. This is a life groups event. Um, and every man needs to be here to help support the women so they can have a night where they can worship God and connect with other ladies. Similar but flip-flop is wildlife on the 22nd of two weeks after sisters it's wildlife it's a men's event so this is going to be just flip-flop we need all the men here to be in preparation be a part of this thing but then women will need you to step in so that the things the serving things that, that get, need to take place so a man can really focus uh, and, and connect with god we need that there so open the dark groups mastermind sisters and wildlife are the four things on the calendar okay now i told you this these were not always the same every month what I want you to do for development this month is I want you to make sure before they leave that meeting that they subscribe to Craig's Leadership Podcast, okay? Just subscribe to it, and however you want to set this up, if you want to say, hey, let's subscribe to it, and then I want you to watch this, and we'll we'll start our own group meeting thread or whatever that is to where you guys can discuss it throughout the month, or if you want to say, before the next meeting, I want you to discuss, to, to watch next month, and we can, we'll discuss it. However you want to do that, I'll give you the freedom on that, but... Just get them seeing that there are resources out there for them to continue to develop. Sometimes this will look like going through personality types. Sometimes it'll be strengths finder, stuff like that. But what I want you to do tonight or this month is just have them subscribe to Leadership Podcast. That's just Craig Rochelle Leadership Podcast. You can go to life.church slash leadership podcast to get it. If you have any questions on that, let me know. Um, and then discuss what, what that looks like to discuss it. If you're not going to discuss it in this meeting, we're going to run out of time. But... What's that going to look like to discuss that moving forward? And the fourth thing, when we come to the feedback session, is what problems are you seeing and what's working? Like what, what, is, what is it that you're seeing as you are reaching out, as them as community leaders, as they're reaching out to their spans of care, what are they seeing? And then what can we do about it? Now, that's, that's how we always want to say you want to come with a problem. Don't just come with a problem. Come with a solution. So let's hear their thoughts. What are they thinking, man? If we would just try this, we would just try that. That's going to help us all. All get better. But what this is going to do is this is going to give them the voice to be able to, to speak into our ministry. So a lot there. I know this is a little bit longer video. Um, please watch it. Please uh, apply it. And thank you so much for what you guys do as coaches. Any questions about any of this? Holler at me. Text me back. Whatever it is, holler at me, and we can we can get it worked out. But I'm looking forward to this month with Hope in the Dark groups. Also with what these uh, meetings are going to look like. I'll send you a picture of this board so you will, will have it uh, to not forget what we were talked about here. But, man, so thankful for each of you. Have a great day, and we will see you this weekend. Love you guys.